Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the weekly favorite fantasy character and what we can learn from them. This week is the first time I'm doing the favorite fantasy character and what we can learn from them series. The first episode, watch every week, I'll be reviewing and learning from a different fantasy character. This week we're unpacking one of my all-time favorite characters, fantasy characters. I met her in the first book that I ever read, first fantasy book that I ever read, and her name is Polgara the Sorceress. I first met Polgara the Sorceress in The Pawn of Prophecy by David Eddings, the first book in a series called The Belgariad. Polgara first came into play in her kitchen. If anyone has met Polgara before, she is the best cook in the world, self-proclaimed as well. It's backed up by a lot of anyone who's tasted her cooking. And at first we don't know that she is a sorceress. She is looking after a young ward her, um, who, is, who she calls her nephew, um, and his name is Garion. To give a very quick synopsis of Polgara, we first, if we're gonna go according to the chronology of her life and not the chronology of book releases, Polgara comes into being in the womb of her mother, who was a shape-shifting wolf, who was married to the all-powerful sorceress Balgarath, and in the womb she's with her beloved sister Baldarin. Fast forward a few years and Polgara loses her sister, but her sister gives birth to a, a line that will one day end with Garion or Balgarion who will satisfy the prophecy that the that has been unfolding for millennia. Polgara has very 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 many cool events happen to her that she goes through. One of the many tragic things that happens to Polgara other than the death of her sister is the annihilation of the duchy that she rules as well as the death of her most beloved. It's through these tragic events that Polgara's story really unfolds and we really, really get to know her character in so much depth. She is one of the, mo the most multifaceted, depthful characters I've read in my life <laughs> worth of reading. She is simultaneously an uber bitch with the biggest, kindest heart. A strength of character that is often undermined by her caring and by her will and her want to do what's right. Something that makes us love Pogara the most is her wit and her sarcasm, as well as the fact that she's immensely flawed and she's not a stock hero or heroine character. There are a lot of things wrong with her. She has a foul temper. She can be very, very nasty to people when she needs to be. She can be very strict when she needs to be. Um, but underlying all of that is this sense of caring and the sense of wanting to do what's right by the people she loves. Pogara's underlying motivation, motivating factor is that she wants to make sure everyone is safe and that she wants to make and she wants to make sure that Garion most of all lives and that he survives the clash that he will have with an evil um, god who is the pawn of another prophecy. It's this motivating factor that often gets her into trouble and I think some, one of the biggest things we can learn from Polgara and the masterful way that she's written is that flaws bring out opportunities to build character. I think that one of the biggest things that we can learn from Polgara is that hardship is often caused by character flaws and hardship is often solved by the great things about a character. So hardship for a character tends to be in the middle and on both sides the, the cause of the hardship and the result and the resolution of the hardship give you as an author opportunity to explore your character in a very meaningful human way 
Another thing that we can learn from Pogara is that not all of our characters have to be perfect. By all intents and purposes, when you read about when you read Pogara's character in the beginning, she does seem to be flawless. But the over the course of all the different narratives that she's involved in, you get to see that she's deeply flawed, and that's why she's so wonderful. It's those flaws that really, really make you love her. And that's something that everyone should incorporate into their own characters. The last thing that I think we can learn from Polgara is that you can be, you can create characters that are all powerful, but that doesn't mean that they are invincible. Polgara has very many strong characteristics and she's an incredibly powerful sorceress. But her weakness is the people that she loves. And that's giving people weaknesses, giving characters weaknesses, giving your characters things to lose, high stakes, really makes people care about them in a much more meaningful way. So, let me summarize. One, a character's flaws create hardship and a character's best characteristics resolve hardships. Number two, Flaws make us love characters, so give your characters flaws. It doesn't mean that they can't be all powerful and they can't be super, super great. Just make them have flaws. Fuck sakes, nobody likes a perfect person. Except for me. You like me, right? Because I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect. And third, give your character something to lose because this makes us care about them when they lose it. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching my first, my first episode in the series, Favorite Fantasy Characters and What We Can Learn From Them. That one was a bit choppy. <laughs> I am going to work on that and it's gonna be a fun thing to start unpacking because there's so many cool fantasy characters and so many fucking cool things to learn from them. <laughs> cool, thank you.